Master Splinter, what's all the groaning about? Why are all of you still here? Well, I really wanted to finish reading my book. Get out of here, now! Yeet! I said, get out! You're next! <laughs> I'm an old man and I love my pocket watch. Oh yes, 11.30. Almost time for my date with April. Well, I have not heard from the turtles lately. Hopefully they found some way to keep themselves busy. Better call them on my cell phone that I keep in my robe because I do not have pockets. Wait a minute, it's 1989. Why do I have a cell phone? Oh, it is not working. Well, I'll just assume they're fine. Oh! is ringing. I have to go pee pee. I'll be right back. Oh, why does she think she has the right to go to the bathroom? Hey, Splinter. What's up? Are we still meeting up for lunch today? You mean like a date? Yes, I grew out my facial hair just for this occasion. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm super busy right now. I'm at the hospital with Vermin. Hey, beautiful. Wouldn't you like to go on a date with me? No, you have the face of a rodent. Oh, I hate women. I miss the good old days when they weren't allowed to have jobs like this. Oh, Splinter, are you still there? Yes, I will always be here for you. I've changed my mind. Let's go on that date after all. Since Master Splinter hasn't been feeling well lately, we should call him to make sure that he's still alive. <gasps> No, oh, I'm sure he's fine. Let's go eat some pizza first. All right, I stole the news van so that we can drive to our date. Where should we go? That new hibachi place? Wait a minute. I have suddenly got the feeling that Shredder is still alive for some reason. We have to go beat him up. <laughs> Oh, your hair smells so good. I am so glad that you decided to leave the hospital early so that you could go on a date with me. Shredder was in those nearby bushes not too long ago. I can smell him. I'm gonna go in and give him a good beating. Be a good girl and wait out here for me, sweetheart. Shredder, I am going to kick and punch you so hard. Oh... I feel sudden pain. I must lie down. I must use my last bit of strength. Pick up the stick. Throw it at him. Oh, it's no good. My illness must have progressed. Oh, no! Okay, this should be fine. I mean... He probably sleeps on the floor anyways. Oh, Splinter, look, your two favorite sons are here. I think something's growing inside of his body. It must be because he got hit by Shredder's laser. Cancer. I'm gonna put my finger in his mouth and see if he bites me. I wish that we had called him to speak to him one last time. But we decided to eat pizza instead! We must find a cure, and fast! I guess we're gonna have to commit theft! Darn it! I can't find Splinter anywhere! I was going to finish him off! Well, at least he'll die surrounded by his three favorite sons. Look on the bright side, at least we won't have to deal with him bossing us around anymore. Do you think that maybe Splinter can magically heal on his own? No way. He probably needs, like, a special injection or something. If only we were allowed inside the hospital, but we're not, because we're ugly and smell like sewage. Oh no, <laughs> I'm right here, and I'm choking on the stinky smell of his armpits. It's only been a few days, but I think I've invented a cure already. 
Unfortunately, it's only been tested on rats. Gee, I don't know, man. That doesn't sound safe. Just to go and steal the medicine already, I'll be here to comfort him. All right, we just stole the human medicine. If we combine it with the rat medicine in Donatello's injection gun, it should work. All right, I got the medicine from the Harrison Hospital. The date on the bottle was 1988, so hopefully it's not too expired. Oh, I am transcending to the spirit realm. <sighs> I smell April. Did did I survive? Oh, yeah, 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 I did yeah, it. I was actually starting to miss you. Hope you didn't mind sleeping on the floor. Well, he's awake now, so I guess the injection worked. I'm just glad we don't have to take him to the hospital. <laughs> I went to his title right now. Well, I may have had an even better plan than last time for finally getting rid of Splinter. You see, I was secretly suffering from a mild illness myself. Oh, really? There I thought you were supposed to be the picture of perfect health. Really, it was nothing. Not even worth talking about. What? It! I'm using the truth serum on you! Well, I was sick, but I transferred my illness into Splinter's body. Oh, okay. That's all I needed to hear.